The key to beating the Blitz in Madden is to have hot reads. A hot read is something that you could throw quick within a second or two. But it also is supposed to design to take advantage of areas where most blitzes are weak. In the today's breakdown, we're going to be using the Eagle H slot formation to beat the blitz. All right, guys, this formation that we like to take a look at here, this Eagle H slot, uh, the play that we're going to be taking a look at this week is the Saints drags. I really like this formation, really like this play. I think this is a great way to beat the Blitz, first and foremost, because it forces them to show their hand. Most blitzing defenses are going to be using the baseline feature. If you're baseline against this five wide, we have a lot of areas in which we can attack you. If you're not baseline against this five wide, most people's blitzes become weaker. If the blitzes don't become weaker, the coverage certainly does. Because now we're going to have isolated coverage. Anytime you send pressure, you're always going to have vulnerability behind the pressure. The idea is to uh, call the pressure play when they're maybe trying to beat a two-man under. And then, you know, you force their hand. But if you can read the blitz, you can beat the blitz. And this week, we're talking about it as well. All right, what we like to do with this, um, this package goes, and we can get to the, you know, the, the number, all an, uh, an entire... All of our formations we can get to from this. And that's why I like this playbook a lot too. Um, some substitutions that we may make to this uh, just because I think I have the, I think I don't have the right package in here. But uh, there we go. All right, so there's the play, and we'll come out in Saints Wide Drag, and we'll come out in a zone blitz, and we'll show you how to beat a zone blitz, and then we'll show you how to beat a man blitz. All right, so there's you don't have to change any routes here to this play. Uh, it's pretty good stock for the most part. Um, the only thing I would change is this route to Pitta. Uh, you know, you might put him on a streak, you might do whatever. I like the in route. Um, another thing that I maybe might change is play Stokely on a hitch, but... This play really stock is set up pretty nicely. Um, I would probably suggest to you, and I, it would be a, just a, a simple suggestion, is to put Tory Smith on a streak, or I mean a fade. Because against the zone blitz, you can user catch fades very effectively. Here we'll show you an example of user catching a fade in the zone. You see that it does a nice job. But, um, you know, obviously, you know, it's whatever you want to do. Now what I like to do is I like to use motion. And so I typically will bring Jones in motion uh, to the left side of the formation. You'll see we can he's only going to come back on a stock drag. So, you know, that's something that, you know, kind of changes my mind about what I would do with Jones here. Um, but anyway, basically this is the play. You literally can run it stock. And uh, against the zone blitz, you just want to say, okay, if they're blitzing from the left, I want to throw to the left. If they're blitzing from the right, I want to throw to the right. And uh, here they're blitzing from the right, and so I throw, almost threw a pick because uh, I threw it to the left. And what I mean by that is you want to throw it while they're cutting. So they're cutting across, they're going to cut across from the from the right to the left or the left to the right. So since they're blitzing me from the right here, I would want to throw to the left drag. And you'll see now I can pick up yardage against the blitz. Okay, if they're blitzing me from the left, then I would want to throw the right drag. And you'll see that... It's going to be a quick read. They're just snap reads. That's all they are. They're snap throws. Now, in situations where you have some time, you can hit this little stutter route to Stokely. It's a really nice route. Sits in nice vulnerabilities against a lot of man zone stuff that it can work against. Um, one other thing that you could do if you wanted to is bring Ray Rice in close and then maybe place him on an in route instead of a drag. This is going to be better uh, timing-wise for your play, and it just does a lot more things as well. Uh, again, as far as the man blitz, those are really all the reads I like against zone, um, because the zone blitz is, well, I mean here, I, I mean another read we like against zone is this in route. You see, you can throw the in route when it cuts to the inside, and be fine. And then, I mean, you could throw all these routes against the zone blitz, and for the most part, uh, what I like to do is pass lead, Tory Smith route down into the right side, uh, when he cuts to the right. So here you'll see, he cuts to the right, I'm pass lead down to the right, and he's gonna get that nice little uh, catching animation. All right, so there's that play against the zone blitz. Now let's cover the man blitz. So situations where we're facing man pressure, uh, typically it's really uh, – oops, whoops, I threw the wrong guy. Uh, but typically against man pressure, you just want to die. Same kind of thing. You want to diagnose, okay, are they blitzing me from the right or from the left? And if they're blitzing you from wherever, 
you throw the corresponding drag pattern. So here they're blitzing me from both sides. So I'm going to throw the route to Ray Rice uh, because I like that route the most or whatever. Here you'll see um, here you'll see the defense is going to blitz me from both outsides, but I know the pressure is going to be stronger to the right. So I'm going to try to hit this uh, other drag, uh, try to hit Jacoby Jones. And you see that both drags beat the man blitz. Another thing that beats the man blitz um, is going to be this this deep in route pass lead down and typically that would do a decent job and then the finally the only other thing that beats me in pressure that route to uh, Stokely I don't like that as much against the man blitz but this uh, little kind of back shoulder post route to Torrey Smith does a nice job at beating the man blitz or you could maybe potentially try to maybe get in a situation where they may press up or something maybe put him on a fade and say okay I'm gonna try to lob you deep and uh, use Torrey Smith's speed against them. Bill Brandon Flowers recovered, but uh, typically Torrey Smith will be good enough to beat the beat the blitz for you like that. So there is a bunch of stuff you can do with this formation outside of what I said today, but from what I said today, you should be able to have pretty simple play that helps you beat the blitz from the right and the left and from also man and zone. So check this formation out. It's really underrated in my opinion. A lot of things you could do from it. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how to score in the red zone. Uh, for